Hello, welcome to this DCS AH64D tutorial. In this video, I will be expanding on our previous method of creating waypoints and show you how to manually input coordinates and then edit the coordinates of existing waypoints. So to begin, let's go ahead and look at our TSD. My personal preference when dealing with waypoints is to put it into a north up orientation. So I will go to map, orient, north up. Now I have a bit uh, better frame of reference that matches our F10 map. So to begin we're going to start off exactly like we did in the previous method. We will hit point, add, we can choose whatever option we desire, target, hazard, waypoint, or what have you. I'm going to make sure waypoint is selected and just place a waypoint wherever with cursor depress. Doesn't matter where, we're going to edit this coordinate to be whatever we desire. So I will go ahead and now determine where I want to go. Let's say I want to go to this airfield. I'll find myself a landmark. I'll use this corner of this parking area. And now I need to make sure that my coordinates are in the grid format. So you can hit left alt and Y and you will find yourself in grid format. You will notice here we have two sets of five numbers, whereas in the plane we have two sets of four numbers. So we're going to ignore the last digits in here uh, just keep that in mind. So to input our waypoint that we desire, we can go ahead and hit edit, select waypoint one, and then look over to our keypad. Here you will see three. This corresponds to text that we can in enter that will show up when we select the waypoint. You don't have to put in anything, but I'll type in ABC. Now you can see it says ABC for waypoint 01. Now we have a UTM lat long, our grid coordinates. We can cycle through with these arrows left and right. And here is where we're just simply going to overwrite the current information for the waypoint. So if we use our landmark, we will see in the upper left it says 36 SYF 36 SYG so let's go ahead and hover over the G with the arrow key and press the F key now we see 36 SYF and now we're going to get our digits so we see 0396 remember we're ignoring the last digit 0396 I mistyped, so we can just use the arrow keys, 9, 6, and now the next digits, 9, 5, 6, 8, 9, 5, 6, 8, enter. Now we can input the altitude. It shows 5, 6 feet, 5, 6, and then I can hit the backspace. There we go. Enter. And now our waypoint has moved to that airfield. Keep in mind, once again, the grid coordinates are in two sets of four digits, so we ignore that last digit. I'll do that one more time. So let's go ahead and add a waypoint. I'll just put it over here. Let's figure out where we want to go instead of this airfield. Let's go ahead and put one um, right at this lake. So I'll find myself a landmark I want to use. Let's say the end of this road. I will select edit waypoint two free text 
it's going to be a lake, so I'll type in L-A-K, enter, and now I can edit my coordinates once again. So we have 36SYF, 36SYF. Two two seven two 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 seven two five four seven one five four seven one enter altitude is twenty feet. Two zero enter. And now if we pan our map, we should see waypoint two down at that area. I can't zoom in far enough to show you that it's the lake because the Syria map, we don't get those zoom levels, but we can use our other landmarks. Let's see, there's a big lake here, some blue features here. Go into map view, and that shows exactly here is our waypoint. It matches up exactly with what we see in the aircraft. Let's turn off the pen. And that's how we can set and edit waypoints manually. Once again, say we input one of the waypoints wrong, we can go to point, select the waypoint, we see waypoint 1 is selected here, let's go ahead and select waypoint 0, 02, so W02, enter, when it is selected we can hit edit, the waypoint, and the same procedure, we just go through the steps. If you want to see a list of all of your waypoints, you can click button T5, Coward, and go over to option T1, Waypoints and Hazards, and we can see both of our waypoints. If we select the arrow, we can see detailed information. If we go back to our TSD, we're all good there. Under Coordinate, these are targets. You can also pull up areas that have been lazed. We'll go into this in more detail in the next video. That covers how to manually enter waypoints. Um, there are other methods, but I find that the easiest. Just go ahead, add a point, add a waypoint, and then just edit it. So edit the waypoint and just enter the information and overwrite whatever's there. That covers everything. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.